Right, here we are. Today is August the 21st. It's a Saturday. Travis was born on Tuesday. Here we are right outside his room. Here we are. This is where we've been changing him. Here we are with Daddy. He just had his first bottle. Daddy was able to feed him because we used a breast pump this morning. And he's content. Look at that. We're so happy to have him here. Look at that close-up. Look how big Daddy's hand is compared to his face. He weighed six pounds, ten ounces. Let's look at his room a little. Here's his bed. He hasn't slept in it yet. Sleeps in a bassinet. Mommy and Daddy's room. We're so happy to have Travis with us. He's awake. Look at that. Look at that. How handsome he is. That's right. He's checking me out. No, you gotta not rock. Wow, look at that face. He's so happy. He had a big meal. Look how big his feet are. Yeah, he has the very large feet. The socks are on, you can't tell as well. Yeah, very large feet and hands. We're thinking he's gonna be tall. We think he might have a dimple on his left cheek. Yeah. He's a very good baby. He did have a broken collarbone, but it doesn't seem to be bothering him much. Getting a good close-up right there. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be bothering him much at all. He does have gas. Who do you think he looks like, Greg? You. <laughs> Greg? It's mom. Greg thinks he looks like me, but... he got skinny legs like his mom. <laughs> Long, skinny legs. We're so happy to have him here. He does have Greg's mouth, though, I think. He has Greg's appetite. And he has Greg's disposition. <laughs> That's right. We have lots of nice things for Travis to play with. See all the toys? One of Greg's favorite right there, Blue's Clues. Lots of toys. Swing. Lots of stuff for Travis. Tell him about the day he came, Greg. It's park. What time of day did, that was it when I called you at work? Called me at 10.50. It's 
told me that you're at the doctor's office and he was going to put you in the hospital to break your water so you could have the baby. So I ran out and ran, came flying home, weaving in and out of the cars, got all this stuff, and put my hazard lights on, drove as fast as I could to the hospital. I got there, and right after I got there, the doctor got there and broke the water. A couple hours later, Tractions got hard and Travis came on out. Came out with the umbilical cord wrapped all the way around this leg, around his body. I cleaned him up and I got to hold him after he's about two minutes old. Put a little cap on his head. Did he come out? Was he making? What was he doing when he came out? He was screaming loud when he came out. He was making that high pitched scream. He stopped crying pretty soon after. They went over and were cleaning him up. And they had to do some prints of his feet. They put the ink on his feet. And I guess it was cold because he started screaming. The nurses said, This kid's got a temper. And we thought, hmm, who does he get that from? <laughs> then we walked with the nurse up to the second floor. She put him in the nursery, and people were standing out by the window looking at the babies, and they were saying how big he was, how long he looked, and how big his feet were, they were talking about. So they were the biggest feet they'd ever seen for a baby. Big feet. Yep. Yep, Greg drove all the way to the hospital with his hazard lights on. He was more nervous than I was. Like this? You want it? Can't tell. He wouldn't look Grandma and Grandpa Roy in, in the delivery room because Little Travis was having a hard time coming. With, wasn't getting enough air. Oh. There he is. He had a few complications. was frantic. He wanted him right then or they were going to do him, take him C-section. Yeah. All the nurses and doctors were running around. They got me worried and I almost fainted. Yeah. I think I stopped breathing. I couldn't tell. I got really light-headed. We got to keep him in our room the first night. He didn't sleep too good. He kept Mama and Daddy up. We Loved spending time with him. Slept at night, he had gas pains. Didn't sleep good at all. We finally got him to sleep. Daddy went out in the middle of the night at 2 in the morning. Went to the local Rite Aid. Got him some gas drops. And Travis felt better after that. Daddy was real good with him. Mama was real tired. I hadn't slept much at all since the labor. I was falling asleep while I was trying to console Travis. So Daddy took over. And he held Travis for a couple of hours and talked to him and calmed him down and got him to sleep. Finally about four in the morning, this is his second night, he finally went to sleep. Wow, look at that face. Oh, big yawn. He loves his daddy. 
Like I said, today, Daddy was able to feed him for the first time. So we used our breast pump and... Oh, we were able to get a bottle. Oh, he sounds like a bird when he cries. There we are. There's Travis and Grammy. Look. Isn't he beautiful? This is my precious love. He's wearing his hands and feet now. He's got like... Can see his hands? Very close enough? Yes, I'm just very, very close. He's there. <laughs> Look at that foot. Hold your thumb up to it, Greg. Look at that foot. It's huge. Daddy calls him Mr. T. Travis. Mr. T or Bigfoot. Uh, look at that face. Travis, Grandma loves you. She's looking forward to playing with you and doing all these things together. We're going to be playing some ball and, and watching movies and eating popcorn together and, and playing with trucks and toys. Coming to see me going out in the yard and going out and getting on swing sets together and trying to climb the trees and everything. That's right. He loves his Grammy. Last night, he had gas again. And I was up off and on with him until five and then Grammy took over from there. <laughs> she sat in the chair for four hours holding Travis while Mama slept. He loves his Grammy. It's my pleasure and my joy. I couldn't believe it. At five, I left left him in the chair, and at nine, I woke up, and they were still sitting in the chair, the rocking chair. I think Travis has a dimple. <laughs> On his left cheek? Right over here. Sometimes it shows up. Isn't he cute in his blue gown? Yes. Look at those eyes. Getting ready to go to this sleep. It's so special to have footage of him. <laughs> he's a big old guy. He'll see this picture of him. <laughs> Oops, he's tough. We sure are proud of you, Travis. Couldn't wait to get you here. Couldn't wait to get my, be able to hold you. He's a tough little boy. Very tough. Mom and Daddy's so good with you and love you so much. And so patient with everything. Your mom has just been up and everywhere after she had you. <laughs> Make sure you were taken care of properly. Doing everything for you. What did you think when you were standing out in the hall, Grandma? Grammy? You were happening? Yeah. I was a nervous wreck. I was worried because the doctors seemed to be worried. I couldn't wait to hear that little cry. When I heard it, I was so happy. Yep. You had your mom on oxygen and everything. Yep. Travis and his mom. Yeah. So happy to have him here. Tuesday morning I went to the doctor hoping that it would be time for Travis to come. And the doctor said I was dilated to five centimeters and it was time to break my water. I was so excited. I called Greg, and they put me on hold, and I'm, for so long I got impatient and had to hang up and call back. And I told him, it's time. It's time for little Travis to come. Hmm. We went right over to the hospital. 
My water was broke at noon, and then Travis was born at 5.07, so he didn't take any time at all. Huh. Huh. He's a good eater. He's a good eater. Oh, I'm sorry. When he, after he was born, they put him in our room with me and Greg, and we kept him in there the whole time we were in the hospital. We never sent him to the nursery. We wanted to spend all his first few days with him. Huh. Yeah. Oh. Such a good boy. We love it very much. Seems to have a lot of hair. Sometimes it looks blonde. Sometimes it looks dark. Right now it looks pretty dark. Should we turn around and show him his hair? Look at all that hair. Lots of hair. Lots of hair. Those big feet. My, what big feet you have. Look at those big feet. There's some shoes of Travis's that already are too small for him. Huh. They're never going to fit. They're never going to fit. Hold his hand. He has long fingers. Can't see him. Yeah. Yesterday we clipped his fingernails. They were long. Huh. Look at those leggies. Skinny little bird legs. Huh. If he keeps eating like he's been doing, he's going to be have legs like his dad. Ah. Travis doesn't really cry unless Unless there's a reason. He's a good baby. Hmm, good boy. Very good.
My labor wasn't very hard, I don't feel like. I hurt a little bit, but not much. Showing his bassinet. Show the roses I got too. Those roses I got from mother and dad. That's Greg's mom and dad. Grammy and Grandpa Roy. Having Grammy here has been a big help. Push stop, Greg. Just push the red button. Huh? Did you stop it? The red button stops it? Yeah, you can stop it and start it. Two. There's Travis. Let's look at those big eyes. Wow. Big and blue. Look at him. He's watching me. He's watching his dad. We had a good night last night. He's got night. a suntan. Travis slept. From midnight until six in the morning, six hours without waking anybody up. And he's how many days old today? Five days. Five days old today. At five o'clock, you'll be five days old. He just ate, so he's happy. <laughs> yep, 
We got ourselves a good boy. Say something. <laughs> See, I just want to look at you, Daddy. Say, what is that contraption he's got in front of his face? <laughs> What's looking at you, Travis? Hey. He's got a full belly. All right, should we let Grandma hold him? And you just hold it up, you don't your vine. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> hey, Travis. Time's the bestest boy today. Hi, the bestest boy. <laughs> He's got such a good temperament. He's been sleeping for what, the past, what, about five, six hours he's been asleep, too. Yeah. And then he had the hiccups and he drank a little bit of milk out of the bottle and got rid of it. Oh, so precious. See, I look pretty in blue. Blue's my color. That's right. It brings out my big blue eyes. Yeah. <laughs> this is the bestest mama, too. <laughs> we love him. <laughs> this is about his only one of his so few pretty. outfits that fit him because he's so little. We don't have anything that fits him. <laughs> huh. We had another outfit picked out for him to wear, but... He tinkered on it while we were changing him, so. He's had a bath, he's been getting baths and getting that long hair washed and making it all shiny. Yeah. Look at Daddy. Step out. Daddy, you don't want to get brown in there then in a minute, let me take some. Look at Daddy. Are you yawning? <laughs> he says, I'm about ready to go to sleep. He's going to wave at his Daddy now. He's got the hand up there. He's waving at Daddy. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> he likes that red light. It's hard for me to remember. <laughs> it was kind of like that, right? Well, without the tongue, though. Uh -huh. It was kind of puckered. There's these dimples showing up on that one side. He's got a dimple on the... Uh, you can't see it now, but every now and then you can see it. It comes in on his left side. Are you dimple? <laughs> Those big eyes. <laughs> I know I'm on camera. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Put a big yawn in there. Yeah. Show him the back of his head, Julie, so you can see all his hair when he gets to be big. You can see all that hair in the back. Yeah, look that at that. Pretty head back there, and that pretty head. <laughs> yes. He's oh. got a receding hairline on the front. <laughs> got lots of hair. Yeah, it looks like he's got some wisdom because he's got a receding hairline. Hmm. <laughs> I'm the boss right. around here now. Hmm. Ah. 
he is very content. He's not squirmy at all. He's very. He says, because I've been changed and wow. I've eaten. He says, my daddy changed me for the first time all by himself. <laughs> he puts clothes on him. Not, not diaper change, but clothes change, huh? He diaper changed him. And put his clothes mm -hmm. on him. <laughs> That's it.